Jonathan Wall right now. Jonathan is uh, chairman of the Alabama Republican Party. And Johanna Mask is here with us as well, CEO of the Global Situation Room and former director of the press advance for the Obama White House, News Nation contributor. Great to see you both. Yeah. Good to see you, Joanna. Thanks for coming on with us, John. I want to start with immigration for a yeah. moment. There's video, uh, News Nation exclusive video that was uh, shot over the last couple of days. Our colleague Jorge Ventura and his crew shot it down to the border in California. And you see in Jorge tweeted about this, large groups of migrants, he says mostly Chinese men, crossing illegally through open gaps in the border. So look at the video now. And what I bring it up because we've seen responses today from two Republican candidates who will be on the stage to this. Nikki Haley is one saying China knows the easiest way into America is through our southern border, so close the border and protect our homeland. But also Ron DeSantis responding in part saying, this is not normal, our country's being invaded and going on to make a longer comment. So immigration on the stage, certainly on the top of the candidate's mind. What would you say about what you just saw, John? Well, I mean, look, we as Republicans have known this for a while. Um, the border issue is more than just about keeping immigrants out. It's about national security, and it's about protecting our local communities. You know, whether that's from fentanyl, where we're seeing the disastrous effects on our young people. Um, as the youngest chairman, Republican Party chairman in the country, that's important to me. You know, we see young people who are actually devastated by this issue. Mm -hmm. So I, I think this is just one more example of why it's important that we do secure the southern border, why we protect our local communities, and why we make sure that the people of America are protected and safe. We talk about issues all the time, Joanna, and sometimes yeah. it sounds, I think, on TV like we're minimizing the issues, but we're not. We're saying that there's such, such, such an issue is a winner for Republicans or, or abortion politics or a winner for Democrats, that type of thing. What about immigration and how it will come up tomorrow night in the debate and how it affects this race. Look, I think it's a problem that we talk about anything that's a, a challenge for our country that we haven't solved as a winner for anybody. It shows the inaction of both parties. And the, and the truth is, John, we were talking beforehand, I love that he's a butterfly farmer, which is the coolest <laughs> job ever. Way better he's than a, politics. How did we just he's get from... He's a butterfly from, farmer. <laughs> but that, the, politics is not it's like... Good. A butterfly farm, unfortunately, oh, was what we were no. talking about. Politics is dirty and angry, and everybody, you know, they say, if you win, I lose, that kind yes. of uh, mentality. But, and, oh, the but criticisms. we're not going to get to immigration reform unless Democrats and Republicans work together, because any time one president takes unilateral action, like DeSantis is talking about with shooting people at the border or whatever, right. you're going to have massive lawsuits. That's a liability for the American people. So until we actually get people in a room, Democrats and Republicans, talking about immigration we will not solve the problem and it's not a winner for anybody we used to do that years ago immigration <laughs> reform was something we it talked was. about but i think john has a much different point of well, view well here, and, so. and i want to highlight something not on butterflies by the way <laughs> well, but actually, on yeah, i'm going to bring butterflies into this right uh, <laughs> let's, let's do it let's do it um it is actually technically illegal for a butterfly to fly across state lines without a mm. permit so my question has always been, as someone who's, you know, facing this government overregulation, because that's what it is, um, you know, we have to deal with this every day. Why is our federal government more concerned about the interstate transportation of butterflies mm -hmm. than they are about securing our southern border and protecting our communities? Well, it's not like well, we don't have laws. It's illegal, right? right. It's not like we don't have laws yeah. against humans doing it. It's, uh, yeah, well, well I mean, even Republicans would say sometimes it's just a matter of enforcement mm -hmm. of yeah. the current laws. But yeah. You tried, though, with there, the butterfly there, there, thing. Well, there are. There are actual enforcement on that butterfly restrictions like, like the USDA has actually raided butterfly farms um, because they move <laughs> butterflies without permits I mean this yeah. is a real thing You're saying I we're would rather see yes we're tougher on we agriculture yes we're tougher on agriculture and on American businessmen than we are on illegal immigrants. And American businesses, women. I hope there are yes. some women. Yes. I mean, I guess uh, my <laughs> kind of larger point in bringing this up is kind of uh, when I when I mentioned whether it's a winning or a losing issue is we were talking earlier in the show and we'll talk again later about how Republicans have not been winning elections. Of course, they won in 2016, but the party, to be fair, has underperformed in the last number yeah. of election cycles. So a number of issues are not working, and I wonder whether crime and immigration is one in which the party thinks will work and some of the criticisms Republicans are levying towards Democrats are fair criticism. It's just hard, right? Because it, whenever anybody's in office, they don't criticize themselves. And I would say that this, this issue has continued to pile up and pile up. And when I look back at the Obama administration and the things that we did not solve for, we have so many children who have been raised in this country that we, that don't know the language of their country. We basically we didn't solve the problem. Mm -hmm. We gave them some, you know, dreamer status.
that then right. actually put them in a vulnerable situation if there's a change in administration. So yeah. I would say for too long, too many administrations have just said, oh, executive orders because Congress is dysfunctional. Yes. And then we actually want, add to the problem. I want to get Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.